what's up everybody over the past few days we've been getting little new looks at the second sonic movie mainly just little variations of stuff we've already seen in the first trailer but now we have something a bit more substantial with the big game tv spot for the super bowl so in this video we'll be talking about all the new stuff we've learned from this new little tease and i'll be giving you my thoughts and just a reminder these videos are made possible by my supporters on this platform so if you do want to support me be sure to hit that big beautiful subscribe button and be sure to check out the patron link in the description below so it begins with this little stinger just beforehand just to announce that the trailer is coming little heads or tails gimmick with sonic tails and knuckles all on the super bowl pitch we get our best looks yet that we've had at these characters of course outside of sonic we got a pretty good look at him in the first movie also it's just cool to see the three of them standing side by side gotta say and in terms of height knuckles is sort of height when next to Sonic is definitely closer to the sort of boom proportions in that Knuckles is significantly taller, which I like. I think that works. Then we move into the actual little TV spot itself. And like in the first trailer, Knuckles was really just an ending stinger, just this big reveal. He features heavily in this trailer as the antagonist against Sonic, more so than Dr. Robotnik even. There's a big focus on Sonic and Knuckles' rivalry here. We see that Knuckles is going to be in the snowboarding scene going after Sonic. They're going to be throwing down in this big temple that has this Chaos Emerald Shrine. A lot of owl imagery around there too. Looks like we're getting some lore for Longclaw in that case. Longclaw lore long long color lore we also see quite a bit of dr robotnik and knuckles side by side and i'm wondering is this angel island they, I, I mean we know that they were shooting in hawaii for quite a bit of this movie and there are some shots that's like okay yeah no brainer that's probably hawaii but we see this big beam of energy going into the ocean and it's you know creating big ripples and everything could that be angel island touching down but also when we get this shot of dr robotnik knuckles and the different bad nicks it looks like the island that they're standing on could be rising as there is water pouring from it so is this angel are they doing the floating island thing i mean they've already gone more faithful than i had initially expected with this in, in that like i thought when they would bring knuckles into the fold in these movies he would be a protagonist on the side of sonic and tails because i i feel like the story of sonic 3 and knuckles with knuckles being you know a, an antagonist for most of that game was quite niche most of the gen pop are going to be more familiar with knuckles as a hero that fights alongside sonic and tails which i'm sure we will see in like the third act or so but i'm genuinely surprised that they were so faithful as to actually do knuckles's origin story working alongside dr robotnik against sonic and tails but it's like if they're gonna bring angel island into the fold as well damn i'm really excited i also just want to comment on the visuals here just the whole stuff of sonic and knuckles throwing down in this temple it looks fantastic like the first sonic movie looked okay it, it looked fine it was it was good for what it was definitely and i'm talking about in a visual department i thought the film was actually really really good but like visually it, it fit the bill but this movie visually looks on another level it looks much better than the first one and i remember before i'd seen the movie before i'd kind of accepted the whole sonic is in the real world thing and i i think again it worked they kind of you know won me over on that but before i'd seen it i was saying like you know one of the best things about sonic is also like the landscapes and environments that sonic is in and it feels like this second movie is at least bringing us more of that whether it takes place on the human world or whether it takes place on other worlds or sonic's world even we are seeing much more sort of uh you know uh beautiful locations you know that's not to say that you know the open roads of montana were bad or anything but like you know it's very grounded whereas this you know we've got these crazy temples we've got the ice caps and stuff and everything just looks really good this is much more how i would want a sonic movie to look and again i don't want to get into that that stage where i'm trying to say sonic 2 is better by retroactively putting down the first film and again that's not what i'm doing i still think that first film is really really good it's just you know things like the visuals and stuff were kind of more fit for purpose and it looks like this second one is doing something a little more with that also the focus very much appears to be on sonic and knuckles there's very little of like tom wachowski in this trailer we also get what looks like sonic and knuckles recreating the iconic sonic versus metal sonic pose from sonic cd which is pretty freaking sweet if you ask me although that does get me wondering if we ever will see metal sonic in these movies then given that they are kind of giving 
Metal Sonic's, you know, signature moment to Knuckles. We'll have to see. And then what a weird thing to just casually drop. You know how we had that, you know, moment in the, uh, in the first trailer where the tornado is flying and Tails is flying with Sonic and there's missiles and stuff coming at them? We actually see where those missiles are coming from. The Death Egg Robot. What a weird thing to casually just drop here as well. It's not like this slow build up or a big reveal or anything. It's just bam, there it is. And it looks great. And it makes me really happy as well because in the first Sonic movie, we didn't really see the full extent of Dr. Robotnik's like inventiveness. We didn't see like giant mechs, giant robots or like different themed robots and stuff. In Sonic 2, we definitely appear to be getting more the robots that you would come to expect from the video games, including of course like the Buzz Bombers as we saw in the first uh, trailer and then here we've got the death egg robot. So yeah, kind of a big deal The first Sonic movie wasn't necessarily my ideal Sonic movie But I thought it was very very good and it won me over to its concept This here looks more in line with my ideal Sonic movie and, and like I'm really happy that we seem to have like, you know Jeff Fowler and Tim Miller and people that really seem to actually care about Sonic the Hedgehog making these movies. So I cannot wait to see what comes next. This was a really strong TV spot. It, it went so hard, really. Yeah, bring on April 8th. I am stoked. So what do you guys think? If you enjoyed this video and you want to support more like it, be sure to hit that big, beautiful subscribe button. And of course, in the description below are links to different social media feeds, including the Patreon. If you're feeling extra generous, like the following people. Who are JK Strife, Marcus Ward, Sirius the Skeptic, Biotin Arts, Mr. SP, David 20 Covers, Sergio, John Comey, Shodin, George is Lost, Legendary Ray Ray, Cheesemaster769, Adam Myers, and Fayalan Schwarzenkraut. Thank you guys, you are the best of the best, but as for the rest of you, Thank you so much for watching, guys, and have a great day.